Hi, what's going on guys? It's Shiggy here. Welcome back to the Cold War video. This video is my first tips and tricks video. I will be going over the best methods to get point blank kills. I got a few messages regarding the point blank kills and a lot of people are struggling to get them. I did recently get diamond SMGs and the point blank kills is probably the hardest challenge in the game right now and I did struggle with them myself. They are hard and it takes a long time getting them but I found the quickest way to get them and you should average around 15 to 20 point blank kills a game. So it will take you around 4 to 5 games max to get your point blank kills for each gun. Probably going to be different you here and want to get better call of duty please subscribe to my channel if this video does help you out please do hit that like button as it does help the channel out a lot i've seen a lot of people say dirty bomb is the best method but honestly in my opinion it is probably the worst one because it just takes too long because every time you have to fly in land behind someone then kill them which is just really long i think combined arms is the best method to farm them point blank kills one because the maps are big and you can just do a flank around people and kill them from behind and two there's a lot of snipers and campers in this game mode so if you are going to flank around you can just get quick easy picks if you want to get them easy point blank kills you do need the cl best class set for it and i've got that for you guys okay for this tutorial i will be using the ak7 for you you can use pretty much any smg because all the attachments i will be showing you in this video are on all the smgs so first you want the suppressor this is a must because when you are flanking you do want to see off the map and you don't want the enemy to see you are behind them for the battle you do want the last bar which has the most damage affected damage and all that good stuff but it does have a lot of recall to worry about that because you are going for point blank and that won't really affect you and for the laser you do want the five mil lot laser this is going to decrease the hit fire accuracy as much as possible and it will help you land all them bullets. For the mag you are going to want the biggest ammo capacity for this x for you it, it is the 50 mag. Because when you hit fire you are going to miss a few bullets and if you are trying to kill more than one person you need as much bullets as you can. And the final attachment I do recommend is having the field tape handle. This helps with flinch resistance so if someone is trying to shoot you whilst you're trying to get your point blank you are going to land all them bullets on your target. Doesn't matter the second because you won't be using it. For the tactical I would say use stones because because if you are behind them you can stun more than one person so they will be able to move and we can get easily two point blank kills for the field upgrade i would use a field mag if you're either in the spawn or maybe in your own spawn so you're getting a bit pushed back you can put the field mag down and wait for them to run past but be careful because if they're using ninja and they are full sprinting they won't come up on the field mag but if they aren't using ninja they will come up so please bear that in mind when using the field mic. And finally for the perks I would use the wildcard perk greed. This allows you to have 6 perks, 2 from each category. For perk 1 I would, I would say flat jacket so you don't get grenaded. An engineer if you are rushing to the spawn you want to see if they got a field mic or proximity mine down. So you can avoid it or destroy it. I would say avoid it because if you do destroy them they would get like a little notification saying their equipment has been destroyed. So you want to be as much like a ninja as possible. For perk 2 I would say scavenger so you don't run out of bullets. Because you are going to be in the spawn and you are going to waste a lot of bullets. And for the second one I would say assassin. Assassin is very helpful because you do get a little red, red dot on the minimap. Because the top player on the map or the person which is getting quite a lot of kills will come up on the map so you know exactly where they are so you can easily get to them and get easy kill and finally for the perk 3 you want to use ghost and ninja because you want to be stealthy as much as possible so basically you want to play like a ninja go around the map like a ninja and stay off the map as much as possible that's it for the, all the class up now i'm going to go show you the best method all right guys this is ak7 for you class that you obviously want to use i just shown you yep you do want to play combined arms assault the two maps that i would recommend you playing is miami and Anamada. Both maps are very good but Miami is slightly better because you can go on a decent flank which I will show you in this gameplay. I will show you Miami first then I will show you Armada and the best routes for them both. With Miami you do want to, I basically stick to his left hand side. A few people do come here so you, I, I would just wait in there for someone to come but obviously no one turned up. Uh, I think he got killed. But yeah you just want to go to all the way on the left hand side and get behind him. Go all the way left so literally you are behind them so you can see if anyone's coming here or not. I did see someone run up there so I know someone's in that building. So right now I am behind them all. And I did see one guy in the window there and he just died but yeah I'm behind them all right now. And I do see a few people here. There's one just here easy point blank drop down get this guy as well. There's two point blanks just there. I thought I stood on so yeah I kind of flashed myself. So I'm kind of in the spawn right now, just going around. I knew, I know they're going to be spawning around here. Plus we got UAV as well. Go right so they don't hear you coming. Full sprint so they don't hear you either. There's three just there. This guy just sniping. There's four. Keep on running forward. I'm basically behind them. They don't know I'm here. That's five. Six. 
This guy was on the left and I didn't even see him. I'm thinking, hmm, where is this guy? And I realise he's on the balcony. There's six point blank kills just there within what? First 30 seconds, 40 seconds of the game. If you do carry on sticking to our route, you are going to average around what? 15 to 20 point blank kills, which is nearly half of your point blank kills. So stick to our route and you will get them boxed off on this map. Objective is on this right side. I would say this route here is pretty decent because the objective is here and they are going to basically spawn you back here. So you can wait here, put your field mic down and just wait for them to keep on running past. Here, here is probably the best spot. Point back there, just wait. And they're just going to be running towards the objective because obviously they want to capture it. There would have been another one there as well, but you see, he died when the game ended. But there, yep, that corner there is actually a really good spot as well. The next map is Amada. Amada is obviously three boats, so you want to stick to the middle one and try sticking to uh, these corner little bits here. Stick down here. So no one knows basically here there's one point blank and you want to stick to the edges of the map and you can basically come behind all these lot like people be snapping here easy point blank kill stone but obviously didn't work but on this little window bit here and when you are behind them people are going to be snapping here as well so easy point blank kills here as well they'll be coming off the zip wire as well so you can maybe hold it and wait for them to come Obviously, I've got a shotgun there, but that is a really good spot as well. I'm going to finish over right there on how to get point bank kills on Black Ops Cold War. If this video did help you guys, I would appreciate if you could leave a like. And if you want more tips and tricks on how to get gold camos fast and how to grind that dark matter camo faster, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.